Well, glad to know you're still there and watching the run up. We are now being joined by a legal luminary and an advocate for good governance and public affairs commentator. It's my pleasure to welcome Barista Jimmy Abia to the program. Welcome. Thank you very much, Shango. Yeah. It's my pleasure. Our concerns, uh, we're talking today with him about insurance, and uh, we understand that some fights that occur on our roads, because sometimes you see traffic uh, gridlock is caused by some people that have crashed, scratched themselves and all that. We're just wondering, minor accidents that can be avoided if the persons involved knew more about insurance and how to go about it. So what is it that they are missing? Why, is it, why does it happen this way? Is there something that we need to know? Okay, um, basically, um, I think, like you mentioned, there are times that you see people fighting on the road mm -hmm. because um, probably there was a, sc a scratch on one vehicle or the other. You know, um, in this city, there's a lot of traffic. You, you get to encounter traffic a lot of times. And within this traffic, you also have people who um, get uh, into issues like um, having two cars, you know, scratch each other. And, you know, they step down from their vehicles and, you know, exchange blows. But these are things that could have been averted if people knew a, a lot, a bit, a bit more about um, insurance. They could, could have averted, you know, some of these fights. Um, because there, there is um, the third party insurance, which um, everybody is required. Indeed, it's a, 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 a if, if something that is encoded in law that is mandatory that this motor vehicle third party insurance is one of the insurance policies that every driver every person who uh, every vehicle owner must have so um, in, in such instance there's already a third party insurance it, it is assumed that people should have although what you have these days is that because people don't also understand the benefit the need for this insurance it's either some people don't have it or some people um, uh, engage uh, others to get this for them, to get um, documents that sometimes are even fake. So because of that, you see these kinds of situations you know, where people step down from their vehicles and take up a fight in the middle of the road. But like I mentioned, um, third party insurance should have taken care of that. Now, what is an insurance? An insurance policy is a pol is an insurance contract is a contract that guarantees you in the event of um, loss, damage, or uh, any eventuality. That's what uh, an insurance uh, contract is meant to do for you. So where there is, uh, in, in cases of third party insurance, motor vehicle insurance, for instance, where there is a damage to a third party's um, uh, vehicle, then it is, or even uh, to a, an, an injury to a third party, you know, in, ter in, in terms of, you know, a crash, it is that uh, insurance that is meant, that 5,000 insurance, incidentally, interestingly, people don't realize that that 5,000 insurance, you know, help, you know, can give a cover for up to a million naira. So you have, the, with that alone, with that alone, even when you don't have a comprehensive insurance, because what the comprehensive now does is to also protect you, you know, the car mm -hmm. owner. But the third party insurance, now who are the parties to the insurance? You have the vehicle owner, the vehicle owner um, who is insuring his vehicle. You have the insurance company who, it, it, so these are the first and the second parties. Then the third party is the person who is not in, in, in directly involved in this contract, but is affected by this um, um, contract which has been en entered into. So that's the third party who is protected you know who the the contract the contract of insurance you know is to grant uh, grant him some benefits to um, you know either to his vehicle you know or uh, some injury and usually it is up to uh, you know a one million naira cover but comprehensive insurance does more than that now amongst the insurance policies that are mandatory you know by law in Nigeria you have. The, the one I've mentioned, the motor vehicle third party insurance, you have the one which um, the NSITF you know, oversees, which is the employer's, employer's liability employee compensation you know, insurance, which is um, the one provided 
for employees, you know, in terms of injury, in terms of um, illness, in terms of in, 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 maybe in, in the event of death, you know, while, you know, working, putting in his service. Now the employer is meant to be contributing 1% of the annual uh, uh, income, annual salary of the, the employees, you know, to the NSITF. And th this is meant to be used, you know, um, for an event of these eventualities happening. Then you also have you also have the group life assurance policy where if any if you own the owner of the company the employer you know once you have up to 5 employees you know in your in in your employ you need to take up the group life assurance policy now what does it do it gives a form of life insurance you know for the employees so in event of also injury in event of death in event of any any eventuality it is meant to provide for either the person or uh, the insured or when he, if if it is dead you know for the family for the family of the person so uh, this is what the group uh, life assurance policy, you know, is meant to do. do. Then there is also the professional indemnity me medical insurance, which is in in terms of you know, um, in hospitals there could be instances of negligence where um, a medical personnel, you know, um, is negligent in in his job or for any other reason where. Um, if a, a, a person who comes in, you know, to take medical services, you know, um, is, you know, has any, maybe in event of death of the person, or maybe in event that, you know, due to negligence, there is, um, you know, further a need for medical, uh, you know, maybe a complication, you know, arising from this treatment, the initial treatment which the person had received. Then the person is, he, he, this um, professional indemnity insurance is what now um, will now be pro protect, uh, you know, the, the person. Now, you also have the occupier's liability. Now, in terms of public buildings, hospitals, schools, um, or other public buildings, even um, shopping malls, the the owner or the occupier of that building is required to have a, uh, this occupier's liability in terms of um, the persons, you know, third, third parties who come into this building. And maybe if there's, um, you know, maybe uh, a, a fall, a crash, or something, or injury, you know, within the premises, this, uh, this is the kind of insurance that protects um, uh, the, those persons. Then there is also, um, I'm, I'm, I'm almost true with this, um, there's also the the builder's liability insurance, the builder's liability. So for anybody who is constructing any building which is more than two floors, you are required to have the builder's liability insurance, which is mandatory. Now, I'm talking only about the strict. There are so many other kinds of insurance yeah. that may not be mandatory, but this is, these are the, you know, uh, then you have the marine insurance the, uh, for, the, for cargo, you have the aviation third party insurance, and then you all, also uh, they, uh, have, you know, um, I, I think, I think they, I've mentioned, you know, the basic uh, mandatory okay. insurance in Nigeria, okay. yes. I do know that um, insurance is very wide, yeah. that we cannot just finish. That's why I try to restrict it, because we already have a terrible situation when it comes to traffic in Lagos. And we've seen cases where, because of a small crash, people come out and fight. Sometimes another accident occurs, someone dies. And like you said, these are things that insurance company, companies could have just done for them. Now. We wonder why people are not able to access this insurance or people do not want to, be, because they complain on the streets is that uh, even if you have an insurance, um, you're, you have an insurance policy or something, how do you call it, accessing whatever funds, accessing whatever help from the insurance company would make you even spend more than what you require the insurance company to spend on the case that you're having. Is it that there are no laws that the government need to put in place? Or is the insurance companies themselves that are just, just being hydra-headed monsters or just being monsters generally and not doing what they're supposed to do? Actually, there are laws. 
Um, if, in, in terms of insurance, um, first of all, there is the NICOM, the National Insurance Commission of Nigeria, which is meant to regulate insurance companies. Now, there is also the, um, the CBN. Of course, um, the CBN is the one that takes the deposit of their minimum. There is a minimum um, uh, paid-up capital, which they need to have you know, with the CBN. Now, now, this is meant to cover for um, times that uh, they need to uh, pay up, yes, pay up um, some of some of the uh, pay up some of the claims, you know, which uh, they may not have, you know, enough funds immediately to do. Then you also that's why they keep this minimum deposit, you know, to in, you know with the CBM. Then there is also there is also the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection uh, Commission, you know, to also uh, reg regulate and protect. Um, consumers of insurance, not just consumers of insurance, but consumers of you know products and services generally in Nigeria. But what you have is that there has been sort of an abdication of responsibility by these um, bodies, these uh, agencies of government. We have had a number of um, instances where we have um, and and a seeming connivance also between some of these bodies. And the insurance companies, you know, to not to um, meet up with their responsibilities. So you have instances, a number of instances where you make complaints. Ordinarily, where you have issues of um, uh, insurance companies defaulting from their uh, responsibility, when you report, make, when you make report to an, a body, the regulatory body like NICOM, NICOM is meant to step in and take re uh, relevant actions you know, in order to ensure that such is addressed. But what you have is a situation where it seems that there's a seeming um, negligence of duty and possibly even connivance you know, not to. Um, so this is one of, one of the issues. So it's not entirely false when Nigerians um, no, no, say that um, the insurance companies uh, uh, you know, do not um, keep to their responsibilities. No, you know, just, you just, know, as a, terms. just for for us to wrap up, I, I'd like to know, if you were to advise government, because we're going to have a new government come into uh, play in 2023, and there are things that maybe some of these people may not know that they need to do. If you were to advise government, uh, what would you tell them to do? What policies do they need to put in place to make sure that either these, uh, these relevant agencies sit up or insurance gen generally can be accessed by the ordinary man and we use it optimally? Yes, I think um, information is important. First of all, um, there, is, there is need because I, I wonder what um, we used to have National Orientation Agency. I think that it's important that information is passed across that the public would know, you know, the benefits of insurance, the, that they can actually get benefit from insuring their property, um, insuring themselves, you know, taking life insurance, uh, life assurance, you know, other benefits. Um, then also to know, because even some, a lot of employees don't know about the, um, the social insurance uh, trust, which is for them. Um, then also, um, government needs to be alive to its responsibility. The Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Council needs to do a lot more. They need to do a lot more. They, they have powers already in the yes. Act. Then also the National Insurance Commission, right. the National Insurance Commission, uh, generally uh, they need to sit up and do better. That is what I expect that the coming government you know, should ensure, that these agencies work and that insurance companies are meant to keep to their responsibilities and that the public is generally uh, informed about the, respons the responsibilities of insurance companies. Okay, if you've been there, um, I'm sure you're wishing now that we had more time to talk about this, but um, to avoid the fights that we see on the roads, to avoid the quarrels that we see on the roads, the mishaps that we see on the road, if you are religious about your, your insurance policies, a lot of these uh, problems that we face on the roads can be solved by the insurance company. And Barista has just mentioned a lot of uh, agencies that are relevant or that can protect you when you find that the services you paid for are not rendered to you. But he also said something very instructive. If you're coming to govern us uh, in 2023, you should know that there is nothing that works without supervision. The laws are there, 
But if the people who are supposed to carry out the enforcement of these laws are not supervised well enough, whether in the education sector, whether agriculture, any sector of our economy, we might just find the kind of things that we are finding and then we'll blame it on the Nigerian factor. The Nigerian factor is really the people. So government at all levels, you're coming in 2023, know what to do. Well, uh, Barrister, I wish we had more time, but it, the little time that we had, I'm very sure that it has triggered something in the minds of people. So thank you so much for coming. It's my pleasure. It. It's my pleasure. Okay, the run-up continues uh, tomorrow, and we're hoping that you're going to join us uh, tomorrow. Until then, stay fit, stay patriotic, and bye for now.